Hello, welcome to Tech Transform. Today I am here to discuss about Apache HBase installation and configuration. In my last video, I have uh, given the full details on Apache introduction, Apache HBase introduction. In this video, we are going to configuring and installing HBase. Let's get started. We can install HBase in three different modes. We can install in either a standalone mode pseudo distributed mode and fully distributed mode for this uh, session we are going to concentrate on a standalone mode means your PC will be work as master and slave and uh, in your cluster you will be having only one one node and for normal development and testing this would be fine for the very the very first step is you have to download that hps.tar.gz file from the given specified link then you have to enter that enter that file and put it inside work folder then we have to set the installation path in that ba dot bash rc file let's see in the action let's go to this url open any browser enter the link i'm just clicking on this version and clicking on this dot dot zz file it's 85 mb click on the download i'm not downloading because i already downloaded that let's let me cancel this so it is going to download in a zip folder you have to unzip it and put it in inside work folder like this see this this is what we finally got let's move to our slide Yeah. Yeah. Last thing we haven't done, we have to put the bash rc file, the installation path. Let's copy this path. Open my terminal. Type sudo nano dot bash rc. Give you password. here you have to say it path like this export hps underscore home is equal to this is the path we just copied our hps installation directory the path you have to give here and again you have to set this hps underscore home in here export path equal to can see here hpage underscore home hyphen bin so these two changes you have to do in done in bash rc file after done press ctrl x to exit then you have to compile that file after changes for that dot source dot bash rc so it's compiled let's move to slide the next step what we have to do before proceeding with the HPS, you have to edit the following files in and configure HPS. Let's we have to open this HPS hyphen nv dot asset and we have to set Java path there. We'll show you how to do that. Let's go to our HPS directory. This is our installation directory. Let's go inside this. Open the con folder. You will here you will be find HPS nv dot sh. Let me open this what we have to do here we have to set this path export java, java underscore home java path how, how you can get java path you already know let me show you once again for that we have to go user lib jvm user lib jvm right click copy you will get your path and you have to paste here like this you have to paste so in this file you have to do only this setting you have to set java path close this come back here so this is done let's go to next slide 
the next slide what we have to do we have to open hps site hps site.xml let me go inside yeah before that we have to create a to directory because H hps will store its data so we have to we have to give it, we have to give some directory to H hps for that what we what i am going to do i will show you how i have created the folder let's go inside work folder inside work for folder you should create one folder like hps then you have to keep you have to add two subdirectory inside this hps folder one is called hf h files all the hps files and metadata everything you store there and zookeeper because hps is uh, going to manage by zookeeper you have to give a space to zookeeper also so two for two empty folders you have to create like this h files and zookeeper that's it inside hps okay and you have to copy this path copy copy two times you have to copy and you have to go inside home folder work work then where we have installed the hps inside conf now let's back to our slide so it's telling hps hyphen site dot xml we have to change we have to do these changes just copy this okay Control C. What you have to do here? Open HPS Citer Site dot XML. See here what we have done. Just copy and paste this path. Copy and paste this configuration. But in your case, in your machine, you have to give your the f H files just you created this directory path. You have to give here HPS dot root directory, HPS dot zookeeper dot property dot data directory. You have to provide this path zookeeper path. So these are two path chain you have to change according to your uh, machine uh, where you are going to load uh, we are going to create this directory so that's it save it and close it come back to slide again now what we have to do after installation so till now the installation steps has been done now what we have to do we uh, in uh, in order to installation is completely uh, configured completely or not uh, we uh, we need to check the hadoop uh, file directory hdfs file directory we have created for h files uh, whether it contains some system files or not let's check that let's go inside the terminal <coughs> let me open a new tab type hadoop fs minus ls then the directory the path of that h files that is home win a work h c h base then h files Here we go. We uh, we file we we got these seven files. It means we uh, configured the uh, we configured and installed the HBase successfully. But we have to do in order to work with Hive, we have to do certain steps. We have to follow. Let's move go back to slide and check. After installation, so this is what we just check and it is and it's fine. Uh, before starting HBase, you have to start Hadoop. For starting Hadoop file system. You have to type this command: start hyphen all dot sh, start hyphen dfs dot sh, start hyphen yarn dot sh. I think in my machine it's already running. All these demons, demons are already running. Yeah, it's running. In your machine, if it's not running, you have to type this command in order to start the Hadoop demons. In in order to stop the start the Hadoop file system. Now it's time to start the H base. For for starting H base, we have to type this command: start hyphen H base dot sh. Let's type that. Start. Let me do these things here. Start hyphen h base dot sh. Okay, it's starting. So it started master h master h master started. Then what you have to do? You have to uh, start h base master server. For that, you have to type this local master backup dot sh. Local hyphen master hyphen back backup dot sh start two. So 
so this this the, this numeric field 2 is nothing was just specifying how many servers we want to start that's it let's enter okay it's starting master start and master server now next next thing we have to do we have to start region for that type local hyphen region servers dot sh local hyphen region servers dot sh start three here we are going to start three region server that's why we are specifying three here let me once again check the command is correct or not yeah it's correct let's enter okay region server also started now it's time to move inside the HBase cell so before moving inside and finally work with HBase and write HBase command these are the steps what I have shown you have to do then finally we can enter into the HBase cell to order into the HBase cell we have to type HBase hyphen cell HBase I guess HBase space cell yeah HBase space cell you have to enter you will be getting finally HBase prompt let me copy this URL also I'll quickly check how it's uh, how it's going how it's look in the browser yeah it started see we can list out something yeah yeah it's running it's running let's check in the browser so this is the HBase master uh, uh, ser web server where we can see all those details how many masters region servers are running remember we, cr we created three region service you can see number of regions is three so these are the tables you can see user tables we have, uh, we have only one table that's it so in my later video I am going to come with the um, basic uh, HBase commands where we are going to show how we can write our DDL statements how we can create upset update insert and create tables and all those things so uh, that's all for this video for uh, HBase configuring installation thanks for watching have a good day bye